Welcome everyone. Second prep. Hi. Okay. So today mm -hmm, we will speak about the first lesson algebra. Okay, factorizing quadratic trinomial. Okay. So let's start meaning of factorizing trinomial. Okay. Before we are starting that, must be first to make a version. Okay. About what we talked before. So give me attention here for our version. So. So give me one. Yes, that's correct. I want one. So the two number, if I do times, give me 12 with 3 and 4. If I make difference between them, it's give me 1. So that's now is correct. Okay? So two number will be 3 and 4. Okay? Aha, uh -huh. I think our brain is very smart. You are very smart to understand it. Now, in our vision, we make multiplying. That's what we talked about before. I have two presses here. The first presses was x plus 3. I want to make trimus with other presses with have x plus 4. So first, I do that. x go and make trimus with the first number here. So x times x give me x power 2. And second time, x go to other number. Huh? So x make times with 4 is give me 4x. This 4x here. Huh? But don't forget, 4 is positive and x is positive is become positive 4x. What about 3? 3 is positive. Go to the x, make times with it. Okay? So it's become 3x. Positive and positive, it's become positive. So it's become positive 3x. 3 go to 2, 4, make times with it. Okay? So 3 times 4 equal what? Equal 12. That's correct. Positive and positive, give me positive. Okay? So it's become positive 12. Okay? I found here in the middle, I found 4x and 3x. I will first I will make sum between them. So I do sum 4x plus 3x is give me 7x. So the result will be x per 2, 7x and 12. Okay? So master, mm-hmm. Found here that's our expression. Don't forget, the middle comes with sum of the two numbers, and the last one here is product of the last number, 3 and 4. Okay? The 12 here comes times 4, 3, and 4, the second term here and second term here. Okay? So the product of 3 and 4. So I have here x power 2, 7x, and 12. This expression we call it as quadratic trinomial. What meaning of trinomial? Okay, we took that before. First, we took, we, we, we took monomial. Okay? Monomial is this meaning. In the expression, I have just one term. So, if you found x over 2 is alone, that's monomial. Okay? 7x seven, seven is alone, that's monomial expression. Okay? So, mister, if I have two terms together as x, as x power 2 and 12, 7 and 12, 7x and x power 2, 2 only, we call it as binomial. If you found three terms, huh? That's we call it as trinomial. So, if you look at trinomial here, tri, it's meaning three, okay, as triangle, okay, this polygon has three sides. So, what meaning of tri, huh, tri is mean three. So, I have expression, have three terms, we call it as trinomial, okay. So, you understand now what meaning of trinomial, trinomial, just meaning expression has three terms. What means, what meaning of quad, okay, quad, or quadric trinomial, this meaning I have one expression or the expression from the second degree. I have x has power is power 2. That's good as quad trinomial. Okay? So the first lesson in second prep. So we'll call it as factorizing quad uh, quadric trinomial. Okay? So in factorization here in number 1, I give you that x bar 2 plus 7x. Plus 12, that's the result. That's what I could before. Now I want to come with two presses. Put it, put it into presses. To make factor for it. Which two presses I make times together give me this expression. So I will learn you how to make factorization for it. First, I found here x bar 2, this first one here. So I make, I make distribute for x bar 2. So I distribute, it's become x and x, I put x in the first places and x in second places 
Okay, I make the suit for X square two. Okay, I divided the two two presses. What about twelve? What about twelve here? So must be a look at the last number here. Okay, so could, we will try to factorize from the right left. Okay, the last number here is twelve. Okay, huh? Do you remember how to come with twelve? It's product of two numbers in the two presses. Okay. So, if you remember that, I will learn you how to make factorize quickly. If you remember our game, we played before, huh? Look at that. I want two numbers. The product is will be twelve, and their sum is will be seven. Mm-hmm. Do you remember our game? Yes, that's our game. We played, we played, we played before together. Okay. So I want two number. Their sum. Okay, is equal, uh, the product is equal to all, and their sum is equal 7. So, if you look at my, my table here, oh, you can play it. Okay, which two number I make times give me 12, and make plus give me 7. Yes, it's 3 and 3 and 4. Yes, wonderful. So, I found here 3 and 4, so I will put 3 and 4 here. Okay. The product of 3 and 4 is give me 12. The difference between them, I'm sorry, the, the sum of them is equal, 4 plus 3 is equal 7. Okay, so mister, huh? what about the sign in the middle? So, if you have in the last one here, positive, the two presses take the sign of the middle. Don't forget that. If the last sign is positive, the two presses take the sign of the middle. So I have made in here is plus. So the two presses take plus here. Okay. The result will be x plus 4 and x plus 3. The two presses will be factorized. If I do that, presses x plus 4 times other presses x plus 3 to give me the expression x over 2 plus 7x plus 12. Once again. Okay. Hmm. Second example 7x over 2 minus 7x plus 12. I can play it as the last one, but we found something else here, something different from this and the last one. The first one is plus, and here is minus. Seven x here is minus. So, Mister, what I will do as the same, never change anything. So, Mister, two presses. I distribute x over two. It become x and x. And look at the last one, twelve. Huh? I want two number. If I make time, is give me twelve. Huh? Our product is their product is equal to 12 and their sum is equal 7. Yes, like that here. Huh? Do you remember my table? Yes, I think you remember it. Wonderful. So, mister, hmm? what are you doing here? Yes, which two numbers? Yes, 3 and 4. That's correct. 3 here and 4 here. And the last sign here is positive, so the 2 takes the sign of middle. Okay, so the two number will be negative so I have here x minus 4 and x plus 3 I'm sorry x minus 3 that's for factorizing now in the third example here we found x power 2 plus 8x plus 15 so first I are going to press this here hmm I make this bit for x power 2 it's become x and x here yes wonderful and go to from the right and ask about 15 here hmm which two number, if I make times, give me 15, and their sum is equal 8. So I want to number, product is 15, and their sum is equal 8. Mm -hmm. Do you remember my game here? Do you remember it? Yes. At 3 and 5. So, I put here 3 and 5, and don't forget that. In the last, huh, the last sign was 15, so e positive here, so they take the, the sign of model. So here is plus and plus here. So I found x plus 5 and x plus 3. Now our factorization will be x plus 5 and x plus 3. So I think now the example will be very easy. So I'll try a next example. And you found everything, inshallah, this will be very, very easy for you. Okay, I hope to enjoy with that. We will be continuing, inshallah, in the next video. Bye-bye.